location in the county. Um, not only do we now have access through the devices to the poll pad, the system, but we are in. And it's not supposed to have Wi-Fi, and that's not supposed to be able to happen. So we've doc it, documented now it's communicating two ways in real time, meaning it's receiving data and sending data. Should never happen, shouldn't be Wi-Fi. We've now documented it in real time, so we've shut down the data. But that's going on right there where everybody's voting. And I just wanted to get it into the record. Thank you. With Mr. Yeah. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Is it a mobile uh, precinct or is it a... No, it a, it's, a it's a standing building. Okay. That this should not happen. And, and it shouldn't happen in any way, but this is another one around time. Won't disclose location because every location is right, being right, right. checked, but we've now confirmed it 100%. Right. Thank you. Mr. Yes, sir. Mr. Beach, did you... And, and now comes still Beach and Tiller. Did you have a question? Uh, okay, well, Senator Tiller. Thank you. Um, Thank you for your testimony. We've heard that there's three different types of machines, a scanner, a ballot market device, and a polling pad. Right. Do you know which one it is communicating, or can you tell that? Uh, right now, um, what you heard in the past was coming through the thermostat and stuff. This is now a more direct access way, and so this is coming through the polling pad device yeah. where they're checking everything. But now, you know, it only takes one device where you daisy chain them together and do it. The most important thing is that shouldn't be two-waying and even shouldn't be accessible or on. And it's there. Were there any other questions? Could I ask him one question? What effect uh, some, could somebody with, uh, you know, dishonest purposes, what what could that person do given this access that's going on right now in Fulton County? Um, statistically, what can be going on when you have an operation like this is as that data is being exchanged and somebody's in it, can actually siphon off that data, modify the data, and feed it right back into the system, or kind of do a pump and dump in real time, right? It's kind of like at home um, when we all used to have a dial-up and you're connected to the internet and doing what you're doing and then all your kids get on and the bandwidth goes down and everybody clogs. It creates that kind of atmosphere where not only are you in the system, but then once you get into the machine, you can do stuff in real time changing its intent. That's what it opens up. All right. Thank you. Thank you.